The following is an example of combined shear stresses. So let's say we have this element over here. Okay, um, it has a shear stress of 40 megapascals. It has a normal stress of x, horizontal normal stresses of 100 megapascals, and uh, vertical normal stresses of 80 megapascals. And we need to calculate the stresses on an element rotated by 10 degrees anti-clockwise. And we, we need to draw more circle to represent these transformations. So immediately, the fact that we know it's rotated 10 degrees anti-clockwise in reality, this corresponds to a rotation of 20 degrees, so 2 times 10, 20 degrees in the opposite direction clockwise in the Mohr circle. So rotating this by 10 degrees anti-clockwise gives us a rotation of 20 degrees clockwise on the Mohr circle. Now recalling from a previous videos, I showed you the general equations over here. When we rotate an angle, uh, through an angle theta, when we rotate an element through an angle theta, we can get the general equations of normal stress y, uh, shear stresses, and normal stress x. We can use these equations um, and use these parameters, substitute them into these equations to work out the new normal and shear stresses due to the fact that it's been rotated by 10 degrees anti clockwise. So, coming back here. You choose two faces. This is the general approach. I usually choose this side and this side. So this point is 100 minus 40. So this is the x-coordinate, which is the normal stress. The y-coordinate is the shear stress. So 100 minus 40. The reason that this is a negative 40 is because this shear stress here is, is causing an, a clockwise uh, rotation. And we said clockwise indicates minus 40. And up